Have you, like me, experienced a change in our understanding of Lenten practices? Let me explain. As a little child in grade school, I heard about prayer, almsgiving, and fasting. My 25 cents weekly allowance didn't make a dent, but oh, what I could do with prayer. Go to Mass daily, including Saturdays, and fasting from the only things I had control over, candy and TV. Being overzealous, I chose not to give up one treat and one show, but all. By the end of the week, as you might surmise, my mood was dour. Suddenly, my father came to my tiny bedroom, took me by the hand, sat me down in the living room, and proclaimed, you will watch an episode of I Love Lucy and enjoy it. I concluded that if my earthly father and heavenly father were not pleased with my sacrifice, it was because it was all about me. God's word spoken by the prophet Isaiah jostled me. Do you call your fast acceptable to the Lord? This is the fast God would choose, to loosen the bonds of injustice, to share your bread with the hungry, to invite the homeless into your house, and to satisfy the needs of the afflicted. Ah, it is supposed to be about others. So now my almsgiving focuses on trying to be a blessing every day to someone on a physical, spiritual, and emotional level. In so doing, my fasting is free from judgmentalism, anger, pessimism, worry, complaining, self-centeredness, discontent, and negativity. My prayer is for all of us to receive this Lent what Solomon asked God for, an understanding heart, and to trust that what God spoke to Ezekiel will become a reality. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will be your God and you will be my people. Mindful that God loves a cheerful giver, let us follow our unique call to enter this Lenten adventure, being a blessing to all we encounter, serving with strength, commitment, and especially joy. Imagine the pandemic we could start.